Welcome to Side Delta. In the top left, we do have Liquid Cure. And in the bottom right, it is Oliviera. Alright, so a TVT and Cure is already gonna proxy. First, Barracks is gonna be out on the map, and the second one, it seems as well, is not gonna be a wall off as the depot is created inside or just close to the mineral lines here. And barracks on the way. And this could be a very quick one, we're gonna see. Sometimes you can just wreck with two wrecks against one. And uh, I just hope for time that he goes into double gas. Opening, there we go. Okay. Because then he's gonna have a good shot at defending this. If he goes for a one rex expand, for example, it's gonna be lights out here. But this gives him a good shot. And if he can hold the initial reapers, there's gonna be a good chance that he can just go across the map and, and kill Cure, basically, with a counterattack. I feel like there needs to be one more gas if this is gonna be Reapers. Is this, this this might end up being a Marauder attack? Okay, it's gonna be a Reaper, and there's the other gas. Uh, it feels like a little bit late on that second gas. We're gonna see though. Maybe he has this timed out perfectly. Gonna have exactly enough here for one more Reaper. Yeah, there we go. Boom. That's pretty good time down. And factory on the way. So, whenever the cyclone is gonna be out, that's when the aggression is most likely gonna stop. Reaper against Reaper, if you can get the upper hand here already as Oliveira, that would be great. It's gonna take the first shot though. And needs to run away here. It's a lot of free damage. Of course, this guy regens, but eventually, if, if you can't fight now. Ooh. If he could snipe that Reaper, man, that would be the assassination. Oh, he's gonna hit an SCV there, unfortunately. The Reaper did regen a lot of his health. And yeah, not the micro you were looking for there is Cure. And now again, the Reaper is gonna regen, so that was some of the uninteresting, or like, low impactful, lowest impactful engagements I've seen in a while in TVT. And he's just gonna go home. Five Reapers. No, he's not gonna go home. But he will use this barracks for high ground vision, it seems. And uh, what you can sometimes do is you can steal add-ons. And if the opponent does not watch it, they sometimes accidentally kill them. So what? Two Reapers go home, two are gonna stand guard, and the third one is gonna join them. And the barracks is gonna see, oh, there's a cyclone. I'm not gonna do anything anymore. Just gonna go home. Gonna send this home. Oh, I'm just gonna chill here for a while. Command center, of course, going down here on the other side. Here as well, but the issue is there's already a starboard producing medivac while on the other side the starboard just started up. So Kyo still needs to make something work with these five Reapers here. And Oliveira, once ever he gets medivacs, he can just go across the map. And there's the first one already, it's here. I'm gonna try to poke away the barracks here for a moment. Actually gonna make this burn, no? Doesn't seem the way. Oh, coming in with the cyclone here. One more lock on. Should do the trick, there we go. And Cure is looking to intercept him, maybe. No, he's just gonna pull back. We'll see how he's gonna move on the map here. But yeah, this, this is barracks really bought a lot of time for Cure. Because Oliveira was just shooting at that. If he would have just lifted into his medivac and gone across the map, he could have maybe found an exposed cure. Because cure's unit were all across the map. And there was a tech lab on the way. So, no second cyclone, right? Barracks did just explode here. Third base on the way here for both players. So what you're looking at right now is why why does this game look so even even though the other guy the one guy did proxy two barracks on the other side of the map why is this not the standard so if you look at the armies the quality this is five reapers I mean, first of all the supply is lower in army 
Four kill, and second of all, it's one tank, a cyclone, five reapers, and now a medivac. On the other side, it's all scaly units. There's a raven, there's a tank, there's one reaper, there's three marines here, there's a medivac with two cyclones as well, and uh, these are gonna hit each other. Oh my god, oh wait, this is empty. He did not, he did see it. Alright, he did see it indeed. He'll see the barracks over there, it's kind of funny. And he's gonna try to intercept his medivac. Little does he know, this is just a... This is a decoy. This is designed to pull this medivac back. This is such a brainy play here by Q. Um, yeah, Oliver is completely falling for this one. Very well done by our blue turn here. Q now trying to find anything across the map here. This Reaper will see this army moving out. He only saw the Vikings, though. And he's still trying to fish for the Medivac. Hey, this is a very technical approach here from Q. Very interesting play. You're definitely going to be curious to see how this pans out in the end. So I guess eventually he wants to bring this Medivac with this army. But for now, it's not here. Just keeping back units at home. So he could potentially push into the main base here. He's gonna maybe get a raven. That's an excellent snipe here. A double liberated joining. So he's going for a very early air advantage here. That's out of range, by the way. Reaper's hitting that base. Not gonna kill it. Tank is gonna be here. Loot that one down. And yeah, Liberators to push back the tanks. There we go. Double siege up here. Oh man, this is so strong. He can even come in with the Reapers and maybe assassinate this one. Yeah, of course, he does not know that there's maybe if there's one more siege tank sieged up behind this. Oh my god. That's a great scan from Oliveira. He's trying to come in and break this position. It's gonna get the disable on two of these tanks. The Raven was kind of derping out there for a second. You need to pull back these SCVs. You cannot keep on pushing with them. There we go, we already lost three here in this engagement. He does have an army advantage, but now with the tanks coming in here and the Vikings landing, spreading excellent against those Cyclones, I think this swings into Cure's favor again. We'll lose the Medivac here, those Vikings are not going to be helpful if they are in the air though. And all of these tanks get cleaned up. Stim is a mighty powerful weapon and we are still lacking this. Orcure should be already um, here for the defense, but what is there to stim? I mean, let's take a look at the marines. Yeah. We got some more here, I guess, somewhere there. <laughs> it's three marines. And this is a lot of potential firepower here for our... Red turn. There's no combat sheets though, remember, so eating those tank shots adds one shot on the splash damage. Gonna get the tank, but maybe he can reinforce this just right enough to break Cure here. We're gonna see, and yeah, Cure indeed is gonna GG, so in the end, Oliveira does manage to pull off the defense and bring back the uh, yeah, game into his favor with a counter attack there. Is in the end unstoppable. So. Eventually his more scaling units or scalable units did prolong through the battle or through the game and did enable him to take the take the W there in the end. He had the stronger composition, the Raven disables, really allowed for an excellent trade at that ramp while he was breaking out of his own natural. Really well played. And then Cure definitely did a mistake where he had those three Vikings in the air shooting that medivac down and not assisting at all the two tanks on the low ground. If you had you have like two plain tanks sitting there, they're just sitting ducks, right? Next map is gonna be Ocean Born. So far, Oliveira's up 1 0. 
Pop into the game. In the top left we do have Cure and he's already sending out an SCV. In the bottom right we do have Oliveira who is at home. This is different though. This is only one SCV. It's gonna be for the first barracks, it seems. This might be... You're not gonna depot block this, right? No, he's just gonna make a barracks in the natural. That's all. He just wants a close proximity barracks here. And this is a gas first for Oliveira, so... It might be the perfect lineup for Cure, where he's gonna have a Reaper against a Marine or even a Reactor. That would be the absolute perfect moment there. A reactor and a factory commitment without a first unit against a proxied reaper, the quickest one you can get here. Definitely gonna keep an eye on what Oliveira wants to do with his gas here, but it should be in a quick factory, meaning no reaper. As you can see, the gas is lining up to 100 here. And let's go ahead and he, oh, he's exactly, he's going to make a Reaper. So this is very good for Oliver. Oh my God, I spoke too soon. This is Marauder proxy. Okay, so concussive shells. This will be scouted now though. This is a one Rex expand with a gas first. And yeah, this is, this is a weird one. What is he going to do? He's going to cancel this immediately. And he's going to throw down a factory now and a bunker and a gas. So I think this is already defended. You're not going to break the ramp, are you? Against the bunker? Reaper's going to go across the map even and try to get any counter damage he can do. And now he's a little bit exposed though. Marauder's coming in. going to try to shoot the SCV here. He needs to get that bunker up and running. And then he's basically going to have his ramp held. Gonna sacrifice a few SCVs for that. Gonna lose a couple. I want SCV actually killed an SCV there. I can't believe it. But yeah, now the Reaper's also across the map shooting at the SCVs at home here. Factory is not... Well, it's done. But there's nothing produced out of the factory. Definitely a mistake. There should be a cycle in production right now. Definitely a big mistake here. There needs to be anything. Now he gets the Reaper with the... SCVs, they're lucky for him, so he's gonna cancel the Hellion, he was panically starting up there. Wait, did he not get concussives? Yeah, he cancelled concussives even, that's a very interesting move. A cure without concussive shells and just two marauders, sh killing basically a depot. Very interesting choices here, and this is gonna supply block Oliveira, so not bad. Of course he did s cancel the CC, and he did not remake it. He instead went for heavy attack approach, and the command center the, is now starting up for both players. But yeah. So again, looks to be a very even match. <laughs> a well defended Marauder proxy opening into an exactly standard game. There we go. There's yeah, still a supply block here for Oliveira. Definitely the, the, the depot is kind of hurting him really much. Very much, yeah. He needs to make one more. He doesn't have a depot on the way. There we go. It's a little bit late, even though he has his command center. Which is barely still halfway away. And yeah, it feels like Q is kind of macroing better out of this position right now than Oliveira is. And that could be just the lead to snowball into a victory here in a little bit. Medivac is gonna go across the map here with a double cycler inside. By the way, you can steal this add-on. It's 25, uh, what, 50, 25 or something. You can save. As of now, it's creating actually vision or cure. I'm gonna have a look at it in a second. Liberator is about to set up, but in the meantime, we do have cyclones actually. Inside the main base, there's nothing at home. He's completely exposed at home. He went across the map. Gonna lose so many things here at home. One tank to try and pop and fight against these cyclones. 
He's gonna get some good connections at first, but yeah, Liberator was just killed off here. Now the main push is coming in here into the main base, and uh, Cure is just gonna smartly pull back his drop for now. Raven coming in, trying to drop the auto turret here, is not gonna, kills like a marine or something, but yeah, the tank ultimately is gonna go down here, Marauder Cyclone, that's the composition here we're looking for. And yeah, comes back in with the Cyclones here, he's gonna kill some more SUVs, and Q is just gonna take the W, Oliveira's gonna GG there. Definitely getting the better end of it, basically of everything there. Some minor mistakes by Oliveira, and that's all it took. Being exposed at home. And, uh, yeah. Not leaving anything there against the Melvick coming across. Definitely a miscalculation. Next map is gonna be Crimson Court. So far we've seen some very spicy openings between those two. Very much dependent on whoever gets the tempo advantage in the early game and well snowballs that kind of into a victory there. Even though it feels a little bit swingy, in the end it is not. Oh yeah. Oops, that's the wrong temp, there we go. Top right, it's a liquid cure, and the bottom left, it's Oliveira. So yeah, it, even though it kind of feels very swingy, it, it actually is not as well in both games. Whoever I thought would win did end up winning. And this time, is Oliveira going for a proxy barracks? And this marine, I think, is only for a scout. This could end up being just what... Oh no. Oh wait, what? He saw this one. Okay, so this is a proxy rex over here and this is a proxy rex over here. And this seems to be a second proxy rex. So Cure is gonna have the kind of information because he's gonna see, wait, there's no, there's no SUV coming to my base. What are you doing? What are you cooking? He saw that SUV. He definitely saw that SUV. Moving out, but he knows, wait, there's nothing. Common. Where's your scout? So definitely cure up on that information game here. Yeah? But Oliveira is gonna be up in units, it seems. Let's see how this is gonna pan out here. Yeah? This is kind of exciting. I wanna see how this ends up. So it's gonna be again Marauders here. Yeah? I was kind of expecting this. And on the other side it's two racks, so it's gonna be Reapers. I think Marauders are not great against Reapers. And, uh, yeah, this could be a, a base trade at minute three. Can I throw it on a bunker? Like having a bunker here would be great. Could deny the wall. He's actually proxying a factory now. And on the other side, Reapers are stacking up. First one is about to arrive here, going to the main base. And this is when Cure will know, hey, wait. So he's gonna grab the first SCV here. He's not gonna get out. He'll lose a ton of SCV, so yeah, let's see. We did a cancel on that depot, by the way, and first Marauder is out. Let's see who, who's gonna win. I think I like the chances better for Oliveira. Because he's already killing SCVs and he has regeneration on those reapers and the marauders they have slow they have more health so they, they would be better in a direct fight but you can't kind of out engage them you just go back what is coming from the factory is cyclone all right so this could have ended up being better for cure but we're gonna see now Oliveira still kind of needs to pull up a defense but yeah he can just of course go across the map he still has an SV. no i think he brought it back he is out of um Supply, so he cannot produce anything anymore. He has four Reapers. And against three Marauders. And a Cyclone. The issue is, there's gotta be, what, 10 SCVs or something? 13 SCVs against one. And yeah, base trade. <laughs> Minute three, as I said. As was foretold. And that's what you wanna do.
Oh, time snuck out a depot here in the bottom in uh, in his base, and Kyo is not going to fly that far, so he's going to have the leg up in uh, creating extra things here. He just wants a scan. He wants to break this ramp as, as fast as possible. He does not want to have this bunker go up, but indeed it is finished, and now if Oliveira can hold his high ground here, if he gets out the tank, it's going to be it, basically. Needs to probably lift this to uh, make an add-on, but yeah. This should be game here. Unless Kyo can somewhat break that entrance. He's gonna start mining now, but yeah, I don't think I don't think you can reproduce here against nine SCVs. There we go. Gonna get that. Reaper needs to move here. So having that Reaper not positioned over here, I think is a very risky move. This is already burning, just let it burn down. Bring the Reaper back and have it here. And whenever he comes in, try to throw a grenade and bounce them. To your will and this SCV is gonna scout these two guys mining here so yeah that's a great scout he's gonna try and roam with the Reaper and try to get this one done here it's gonna kill the last SCV maybe yeah he's gonna kill it with the SCV so Kyo kind of needs to reproduce SCVs now he has no choice unless he might get hard supply locked as well and he's just gonna scout this gonna see all right there's gonna be a tank on production very soon and uh, yeah, already making marines here. I think the writing's on the wall. Trying to desperately mine things, trying to get a cyclone. Maybe a second cyclone is going to help him break this, but it's not going to be in time. He's just going to go around. And this is where that Reaper would be very handy. But yeah, I think you still win the game here as time surrounding the army completely. And beautifully done. What a crazy TVT there. Man, Oliveira. Clenching the win. I love it, man. Full on base trade. Minute three. <laughs> Two commands that is flying. <laughs> that's that's kind of a snowflake of a game, definitely. Love to see it. Banger. Base trade at minute three. But yeah, definitely the better call from Oliveira to immediately pull his workers. And I think that's where the mobility of the Reapers do shine, because even if you try to pull your workers across the map as Oli, um, as, as Cure, you will most likely lose at least half of them transferring just over. <sighs> he tried to fight off the Reapers. He, I think he only thought this would be one Rex at first when the first Reaper showed up, but in fact it was two Rex, so... That's probably where the miscalculation happened there. And this means Oliver is up 2 to 1. Up to game number 4 on Alki 1 LE Leather Edition. Top right, Cure. Bottom left, Oliver. So far looking really good here. And another proxy happening. Okay, this is proxy heavens here. As I said, this is a very aggressive TVT <laughs> between two very aggressive TVT players, specifically. And yeah, you you definitely can see it. So there's not one game without a proxy so far. And uh, to be fair, they have been working better for Oliveira. Two, of course you can see it in the score. Two went in his favor. And it felt like the one that Cure did win, it's not exactly how he imagined it to go down. It was kind of a, a slip up by Oliveira, it felt like. Yeah, alright, let's see what he can do this time. It's gonna be two racks. Reaper, it seems. Um, I don't think this is gonna be Marauders. We, we're gonna see, though. You can always go into two racks Marauder as well. This would be a little bit crazy, though. And to be fair, I think a bit far away on these two barracks. And this is gonna be a position for a nice Reaper hop off to speed up your um, units in coming into the main base. So, yeah. And Oliver is just going to go ahead and SCV scout. He's going to throw down a second barracks in his main. And uh, this is basically already defended. And there we go. Okay, tech lab. It seems like Q is really digging Marauder place currently in TVT. And uh, yeah, only one time they did actually work out for him for now. Should be Reapers again for Oliveira. But yeah, he's going to say, oh, 
you don't have a barracks at home. <laughs> oh, I wonder, I wonder. It's going to be the Dublin Marauder production here. But yeah, it's going to scout the very close proxy positions for now. It's not going to find anything there. And Reaper's just going to be positioned here at home. He does not know what unit is going to be produced here out of his opponent. But if he just kind of stays back at home... And once he sees its Marauders, if he actually gets a scout before it hits, he can throw down a bunker at the at this location and kind of just defend the location as well. And yeah, he has the SUV actually rally down there, so he he might just see this early enough. Kyo needs to go whenever this is scouted. Oh my god. Yeah, he, he knows this is scouted, alright. You, you cancel this now, you throw down the bunker. This is a little bit late. There we go. Bunker. He's gonna keep this alive to buy time. I love it. No! <laughs> Cancel it now. I think that's a little bit of a mistake. You pull back the SCV and make it look like, oh, wow, you've got me. And then he shoots at the command center maybe a little bit. But yeah, there we go. He is not going to waste any time. He tries to go for the assassination, but the Reapers are going to be trading better here. He did lose one, which is a bit of a mistake. Losing a second one. He could have pulled those back and tried to shoot the SCVs. going to chase with SCVs for now. He's going to lose a couple as well. But it doesn't even matter because he's in a big SUV lead. He's going to have the bunker now done. And now you can even go counterattack with the Reapers. Kyo anticipating this. He's going to pull all of his SUVs. Okay, this means he can make one more Marauder. If he wants to. He has two SUVs and a, and a mule mining. Alright, this is this is a play, man. This is decisive. The Oliveira is going to come in and say, what? Where is your workers? And now he needs... He, this is a perfect scout, though. He's going to throw down a supply depot. He's going to block this. Maybe even throwing down a second bunker would be great here in this position. Ah, uh, see? Losing a marine is not the greatest play. So this is... This is a... This is a stiff competition now. We have a ton of SCVs coming in here. Barak's trying to be repositioned. It's not going to work out. So he does even lack the production, even though he does not have the... Uh, He's just fighting the bunker. I don't think that's the right way to do it, Cure. You're just gonna lose all of your units now. I don't think that's the right way to do it. Yeah, he's just gonna bleed out his units. The bunker's gonna shoot everything. He was focus firing on the units and now he's just gonna kill all the SUVs and game. There we go, Oliveira's gonna take it. Very well done. Yeah, I don't think you fight the bunker there. You need to go across. You need to kind of go past. The, the barracks was lifted. I mean, that's the key moment. You have the possibility to actually move across. You move in and you try to, to put pressure on the CC. Onto the factory, onto everything. But the bunker, you need to pull the units out of the bunker. It's exactly the wrong play, I feel like. What happened there? And uh, yeah, Kyo paid with his life.